presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Ben in San Jose. Ben, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I just wanted to thank you and your team and everything. I've been using your technique with the 10-minute charts, watching the VIX, and uh, just making a fortune here on the futures. Isn't it interesting? Interesting. That's awesome, man. It's wonderful. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up four. NASDAQ up 108. S&P's up 17 and a half. Gold. Gold contract down to $12.30. 2,032 an ounce. We have silver up 34 cents. $22.81 an ounce. Light, sweet, crude. Up 70 cents, $75, 7 cents a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, down seven ticks, trading 11031. The 30 year off 18 ticks at 11908 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 392 ticks, 103,224. Euros at 108. Yen's trading out here at a price point of 147. The British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Let's go to the world of the four agreements first. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is all mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To practice a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, out here, let's take a look at it. This is what we have, folks, okay? So we're going to go right over to the dollar first. Well, actually, I want to look, I'm, I want to look at the bond because I want to see what time this happened. And see if the bond's moving the dollar or the dollar's moving the bond. Okay, so what we have out here, we had the 10 year. That started, uh, okay, right at 10 o'clock. So it started going down at 10 o'clock. And then we go to the dollar. Because the dollar's getting pounded. And we look at the dollar. And that didn't start going, what was that, 11 o'clock. Interesting. So that's that going up at 11 o'clock. So that's saying, okay, so that's saying there's the bond, which would make sense, okay? So that's saying the bond market basically fell apart first. Didn't f f fall apart, but what you have here is that you, you've had the bond market coming into its strength. Let's pull this up. Take a look at this, baby. Okay, so right now you get 1.7 million contracts. We're going into, you know, 2.3 million. This is, the, you know, this is the strength on the way up. It was trying to get out of this area today. Now, what you do have is this. Now, watch this. This is actually bullish. This is crazy, man, but this is bullish, okay? And what it is is this. We do have an expansion of volume, and we actually took out the high from two days ago. So as long as you don't take out the low from four days ago, three days ago, the bottom line, before the close I'm talking about, that's actually still bullish saying, that, okay, it's going to go right back to upside. We go over to the S&Ps, you're going to see that, you know, the last couple of days, what had happened is that the dollar didn't have any movement and the S&Ps were still going. But they were the, the, the tragic. They, they, they just, they weren't going like they normally go, like they went this morning, okay? <laughs> that being said, so what we have is this is that you had the S&P get all the way up to the 4933. You're at 4910. And what you're going to do here on the S&P, yeah, this still wants to get tested. If this can get tested in the next few 10-minute bar, then you're going to have a shot at higher price once again. But that bar wants to get tested. We almost tested it on the, the bar right afterwards, meaning 50 minutes ago. But that bar is sticking out. It's 51,000 contracts down at that bar. Let me go to the NQs and take a look at the NQs. Okay, so the NQs set up the same way. Oh, I see. No, the NQs aren't set up the same way. One second. 
So the NQs don't have to actually get down there. This is interesting, because the NQs, what they did is that they, they came down to the bar from yesterday morning. They came down with uh, 19,000 versus 34. Let me go back to the S&P, because the S&P might have done the same thing, and I just missed that. One second. This would be a trip if this is what this, it's doing. Okay, so... So we broke that level. No, it's not the same. It's not the same. Because we came down with 55. Yeah, so there's two different setups here. The S&P would have to test this low here first before going higher. Now, the NQs don't have to. That's the other side of it. That's how this is set up right now. We go take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract was catching a bid, gave it up in spades. We take a look at this contract right here. You had a high of 2037, a low of 2011. You're trading closer to the low is 2014. That had 2.223,000 contracts traded. This still needs a bid. Now, this is doing the same thing as the bonds are doing, meaning it's going against the strength. But the bottom line is it needs the bid. If we go take a look at the copper market, now the cop copper market wants higher price. You know, this is... The copper market has, has been in this ABC structure up to 405. It failed the first time. It got to uh, 387. But now you can see the strength is coming in again inside the copper market. You're at eight over, you're up eight pennies right now. If we take a look at uh, Chaseco TGB, that's a big copper stock. Uh, bottom line, you can see that's getting price spread out here today. You get volume behind the move. We're trading at uh, 140, and that is a high volume high here that's laying out there at 165 that it wants to get tested. Let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, you know, this, this is a classic, man. This is actually a classic. This is a pretty cool setup. So if you're watching Tiger TV, you're going to see um, the bottom line is that let's do this. It's always cool when these things come in like this. Okay, so what you're going to see, you had strength in December. Uh, this is last December, last January. You, cut, you pull back down light volume. You had a nice sign of strength about six weeks ago. You come back and test it with lighter volume. That's saying, this is saying that 196 is game inside uh, Joseco. And if we go to SCCO, which is Southern Copper, I suspect we're going to see a nice looking chart on that too. So Southern Copper is trading 83.62. I'm going to put this on a monthly because I think this is near, yeah, it's near its highs. This wants to take out its highs. So whatever has happened in the copper market, you know, is of course good from copper metals, metals, companies that are in the copper business, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 47, Nasdaq's up 78, S&P's up 9, stay right there folks, come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 48, Nasdaq's up 60, Nasdaq up 66, S&P's down 6.5. Let's get to the S&P, because you just might have a small ABC structure down here. It's, it was going after that high volume low, and I think it's going to take it out with volume. We've got eight minutes on this bar. One second here. So we have, that was the number, so we got 51. Yeah, so now you want to do the projection here. That's a big projection too, man. So you got 49.33. We could actually, uh, okay, so it's a 29A to B, which we're going to get you. You got, uh, you got 16, another 16. So 48.85. Yeah, this is a 4885. This is going to be an ABC structure down. You're going to get, well, I need another. It's going to be close. You need another minute, 48,000 contracts versus 51. I'll keep you updated on that, but bottom line is that you can see that break. Let me go to the NQs and take a look at the NQs. So the NQs, 19, 19 versus 17. So the NQs aren't going to do it. Let me go right back here. ES. It didn't, it had, the, it had the price structure, but it didn't have the volume. Let me just, the 10-minute bar is going to be over here, and let's see what we did. Okay, so... Yeah, you did 50,000, man, versus 51. My take right now is that this is going to be an ABC down. It needed one more thousand contracts to be confirmed ABC down. You take the B point out, take it out with volume. But I can tell you, coming into closes, um, and you get this type of selling, you know, and, and I do understand, trust me, this market is that this market likes going up every single day at the close. Uh, but I'm going to go with the volume stat on this baby right now meaning the amount of selling that was done, because 1,000 contracts, and we're talking about 51,000, it's not a, not a big deal. Coming in, it's, uh, what, 320? Yeah, that's, that's telling me that 
uh, you'll get, yeah, let's go to the spy. You, you're going to get more selling him in, you know, because people are on edge anyway. <laughs> yeah, and we'll see in the gap. The gap, the gap, the gap from this morning is, uh, we're at, uh, yep, 61 cents. The gap is 485.10, and we're at 485.50. So that just totally makes sense that you're going to fill the gap anyway. And then if we went, yeah, see, this is where, the, this, is where this gets cooled at 2.3, 2 point, okay, so here, let me show you this. When you're trading the S&P, you know, you, you, you want to go to the SPY also, the same thing. I mean, I, I love the volume and price deal and the futures as well as the equities. But you're going to see that the equity, the SPY actually took, out, took it out with volume. We did 2.1 versus 2.07. You know, so that's saying that more than likely you're going to see that baby do the ABC structure down, go after the gap, and then if you take a look at this, then what you're going to have is that you, the SPY hit a high out here today of 488.77, and, you know, we'll see whether we, you know, can close above the last, uh, last two days high. Okay, so there's Netflix. Let's go to Netflix X, NF, NFLX. Netflix just basically ripped that leather right off the ball. It's up 55 bucks. And, you know, when we were going to the close yesterday, you could see what was happening is that the volume was pushing into the swing, bottom line, got the baby going. And this is right where, let me show you something here, because this is right where it actually has to get going because of the fact of what it was going into. This was going into the disaster from a few years ago, and it was going into that bar. So it takes a sign of strength to take that out, and that's exactly what it did. You know, right now you're at 547. The top of that bar is 526. So this is a, this is a lesson here, and, you know, okay, so you have price and volume, you build cause, and then as you're coming into resistance or you're coming into support, how should a market react? Meaning, what kind of power does it take to overcome a downdraft? And this is the type of power that it takes to overcome it. Because what you're also going to have here now is this. This is going to end up, this is an ABC structure up on a a weekly basis. So we got that. Yeah, where, where is this one? This is that's a that's a big one too, man. It's a buck twenty. So a buck twenty, four sixty five, sixty five eighty. So you got you have a, on a weekly basis already. You got Netflix wanting to do uh, a five eighty. It is a five eighty confirmed. A to B equals C to D. If I turn around, and put this on a monthly. Let's just see where we go here. This could get interesting. Okay, so you're going to need more than 168, and you're at 103. Let's see, 100 and, uh, give me that calendar for a second. So how many more trading days? You get two, you get five more trading days. That's going to be tough to do on a monthly, you know. But bottom line is that uh, it definitely got some big traction out here. There's no doubt about it. Now, after the close tonight, I believe IBM's coming out with numbers. Yeah, they're coming out with numbers. So the low for the year is 120. The high is 174. Now, IBM, folks, had its high 10 years ago. 10 years ago. I mean, it's, it's like, you know, take a look at this thing. Watch this. You know, Put that baby up, uh, what's that, 206. So you had 206 out here. Now, this is going to be the same type of kind of setup that you're dealing with Netflix, meaning you see that, that big bar? That's when IBM, you know, went in one month from uh, 182 to 153. And now, let me put this just on a daily so we can get closer in. So on a daily here, well, actually, one second here. Yeah. 
I'm trying to figure out whether we have a daily ABC structure up because we very well really, uh, we actually can. So we'll, let's see what that brings us. That brings you 166, 43, Yeah, I'll have that number as soon as we come back. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industries down 51, Nasdaq's up 52, S&P's uh, four, up 4.7. Let's go back to IBM here now because this is going to be a little tricky because it looks to me like... This uh, ABC structure up is just about done. Uh, you hit, well, it's actually 183. That's what it is. Let me just put this on a weekly. So you put this on a weekly. I gotta go back so far. It's like, what are you going into? Interesting. Okay.
I'm putting it back on monthly because the, the weekly is just not giving me what I need. So, we get back to the daily. I took the small one. Yeah, but my take is that IBM is, is not. That, what you have here is that the, the ABC that we did do is 183. That being said, you can see you, you had the, the, the big move was last Friday. That was a decent move. There's no doubt about that. That being said, you didn't get the follow through here. And then we're coming into, well, 4.1, 5.1. I don't know. That, this one's a toss-up. i got to get my head out of that one. <laughs> I wouldn't go one way or the other on that one because that's, and sometimes that happens, man, that you just, you know, it's like, okay, man, you know, will it get to the 183? Let's go to Tesla. So Tesla's also coming out with numbers, and Tesla is going to be looking to do, the low for the year is 138, the high is 299. They're looking to, Bring 25.9 billion to the top line, 73 cents to the bottom line. Put this. Yeah, Tesla to me wants to go test this uh, swing low. You get a swing low that's out here. Laying out here at the 194, and that's what it's looking like. So you can see, if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see the swing low number one, and where the hint comes is actually on Monday. On Monday, you can see we actually did there. What we did is that... Do I have a call, Al? Yes, sir. Okay. One sec, one second, sorry. Let's go to John in Orlando. Hey, John, what's going on, brother? Hey, good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm glad you're back. You're, you're back on, on the air. I'm glad I'm back, too, man. Yeah, we had a great yeah. vacation. You know, I was down in the Caymans with Bridget for a week, and it was awesome. And then all of a sudden, man, I got hit in the way back, and I was like, oh, man, what a trip this is. Yeah, that's not fun when you're on vacation. I feel, uh, yeah, no, I, it was, as soon as I got back, I feel great now. I mean, it could still hair it a little, but other than that, I'm good, man. Thank you. So in, Intel hey, you want to look at, like right? To, I would like to look at Intel uh, uh, short-term, short-term trading. It's not performing as well as AMD and, and NVIDIA. That's for sure, yeah. Uh, so the low is 24, the high is 51. And, you know, of course, everyone's looking for, you can't blame them, something that's going to be like an NVIDIA, and AMD seems like it's, you know, uh, getting there. Yeah, this is yeah. just a, you know, I mean, I think this wants to go to its high, you know, of last couple of weeks, 51, 28, John, but, you know, it's, it's certainly not performing, you know, like they have those faster machines. So what had happened, folks, ASML, if you take a look at ASML, this is what went down yesterday, is that this is, when you hear this number, it's phenomenal. So what happened is that their orders, okay, now this is one of the largest chip producers in Europe, okay, the lows 563, the highs 864, which was established out here today. Their orders went up 300% in a quarter. 300%, okay? So, so here it is here. Uh, ASML Holdings hit record after orders more than tripled last quarter. I mean, it's, it's hard to even comprehend. The, the bookings rose to $9.98 billion from, listen, the, the quarter before, folks, was $2.6 billion. Can you imagine... You know, one second you're going to take in, you, know, you are taking in 2.6 billion. Next second you're taking in 9.8. And that's why you're seeing, you know, 
the AMDs of the world also, because they do have a fast machine. But that's why you're seeing that acceleration so dramatic today, John, out there. But on Intel, I mean, it, it wants to go for its high. I mean, I'd stay right there. I wouldn't, you know. But it's. That's... I think on, on ASML, uh, China did all those orders before <laughs> the sanctions, whatever they're going to put on them. They, they, oh, they I remember that. Oh, thank you, man. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The lithog lithography machine. Yeah, that's right. And then the, the last two get canceled. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. So, and what he's saying, so this is great to know, folks, okay, because that pushes the auto book forward. And it doesn't mean that, you know, when you first look at it, like, okay, is the demand that dramatic? Well, no, no. no. Right. Uh, it just China did a lot of buying in the last two months. Oh, yeah, big time. I mean, you know. Yeah. This is this is definitely, you know, the the arms race now, folks, is that we're in a brave new world. So the arms race is robots. This is just like Terminator, man. That's the way you got to think of this whole yeah. deal. That's that's the bottom line, well, you know. Well, Be we're, we're kind of here in this country worried about China, you know, getting into the AI and and getting into, you know, oh, yeah. hacking and hacking and all that stuff. So they're worried about getting the uh highest technology over there they will try to stop it yeah no i listen man <laughs> and you know <laughs> it seems to me that it's gonna you know you can stop it for a certain amount of time but you know it, it but it's but you know what we're doing is pushing them into uh, creating their own technology that's what we're doing yeah, well, so if it, it takes, it does, hopefully yeah. if it takes longer, it takes longer. I mean, it is what it yeah. is. I, I get it. Trust me, you know. But yeah, yeah. They, they, they definitely have much more experience on watching people than we do. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you can't oh, go yeah, to the yeah. bathroom over there without being watched. So, um, yep, exactly. you know, this is going to be, this is, this, is the, the new, right. this is the new war out here, man. That's the real bottom line. It's, it's. It's all going to be all about chips yeah. and how fast the chips are. You know what I'm worried about is our uh, our uh, you know uh, our, uh, our our banking for the banking and the, the because they can hack on everything now with AI. I listen, man. It, it's amazing that we haven't had that everything has withstood everything. Now I'm, I'm with you. I, I get it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. a great one, man. Have a safe one. Right, Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. 
a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Oh, welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow Industries right now down to 21. You get the NASDAQ up 85. S&Ps are up uh, 12 and a half. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. So we know that, you know, you get Netflix up 10 and a half percent. ASML is up 9%, uh, AMD is up 55 and you get AMAT up 47 Now, the difference with AMAT, just so you can understand, you know, where this goes, AMAT, folks, puts the machines in that they need in order to make the chips. So if we take a look at AMAT, I'm going to bring this back for a while. Uh, what you just had is that AMAT just took out its all-time high. And it's away from it in a pretty good way, actually. So let's take a look at this. So that was, yeah, you get you're, you're seven or eight dollars away from it right now. Because um, there's no doubt that what you, what you are going to see out here is that you're going to have plenty of these chip companies have plenty of money in order to get new machines in order to make new chips. We take a look at the Dow Industrials, how that baby is set up right now. And what you have putting juice into it, you got Microsoft putting 31 positive points, uh, Boeing 24, Chevron 17, Caterpillar 14, taken away from it, Amgen minus 19, Home Depot minus 16, Honeywell minus 16, 3M minus uh, 14. You know, 3M, it, it's really intriguing. Some of these old, uh, you know, big industrial companies have been getting hit for quite some time. And the chart on 3M is just a disaster, man. If you take a look at this, put this back a bit, you're going to see that, I mean, the high on 3M is in the 200s, 206. You're dealing at 93. And what you can see here, though, if you are watching Tiger TV, and remember, if you're just in your car, you could, if you're archiving it, well, you don't have to archive it. You just go to YouTube and watch it anyway. Look at the expansion of volume. So the expansion of volume, they're unloading this thing like left and right, man. And so that's saying that wants to go break that low. And the last low that was out there was like the 85. And right now you're at the 93.83. So um, some of the other higher volume equities out here today. Well, here, let's go to take a look at Microsoft to get an MSFT. It, Plenty of tigers that trade Microsoft out here. So the, the high for today was 405.63. The low is 400. That was also the all-time all high. We take a look at this intraday, and it doesn't have to go back to its highs. There's no volume up here. The biggest volume that we had was on the open this morning, and it just came down and tested that. You can see, you know, that's how this is set up. So... We go back to the S&Ps for a second because the S&Ps tested that high volume bar. They're trading up 11, but what you're going to see is what they're going against now. See, they're going against a high volume bar, which is a problem. You know, because that you're going against the high volume bar that you actually broke on the second high volume bar. So when you do something like that, that's a normal occurrence. It just doesn't have enough time in the day in order to build cause to basically get through that area. 
you know, the contraction here, well, you get six minutes into it. It's not, it's not bad. But you're certainly not going to get what you need. So the real key is, at the end of the 10-minute time frame, do you, are you over the high of the prior bar? And that high of the prior bar inside the S&Ps is 4907.60. And if you're not, that just says, hey, guess what? We're going right back down there again. You know, you get a lot of moving pieces here, man. And uh, we'll see where the, I mean, because what's going to, what we're going to start paying attention to now is that, okay, you're going to have, you have a two-man race for the White House. Now it's going to be about, okay, you know, what are the, what are the deficits? What are the tax structures? These are things that uh, are going to be coming into play in the, the next, you know, year as to where they, these markets are going to go. You know, that's because they, they definitely affect equities and equities and the note and bond market in a, in a huge way. We go take a look at, uh, let's go over to the Toll Brothers because it, they, they didn't come in with the numbers. Look at that, though. No, hardly no pullback, man. Yeah, this still wants higher price. All of this is done. So you're down a buck fifty-seven, and let's see what their numbers were. They were they were light on numbers, man. So they did three billion, and still brought four dollars and eleven cents to the bottom line, man. They still brought a lot of money to the bottom line. So no doubt about that. Um, we take a look at this, and this is just coming back to strength. See, what's happening in the, let's go to Home Depot and take a look at, what, when you're investing, trading, well, I got to separate this whole thing about investing and trading. What the market's looking at is that the turn in, in interest rate structures has already happened, period, okay? So the market is looking like, okay, we're going to be choppy, you know, is this going to make a difference in the Interest rate structure number one, and the way people feel, you know, fixing up their houses, doing their houses. Home Depot's the same way. This is strong, man. Home Depot already took out, yeah, Home Depot wants, Home Depot wants to get up to this 420, and right now you're at 376. This is a classic. We take it out, we take a huge consolidation out. Look at this consolidation, it's a monster consolidation. You take it out with volume, I take to the top of it to the bottom of it. What's the bottom? The bottom's 264. It's like an 80-pointer, which gets you 420. And those highs are from 420. That's sick. I just ballparked that, folks, but that's how this is set up. So, and the Fed, the Fed, I believe the Fed, they're in lockdown right now, I meaning talking and yapping and all of this. Uh, calendar-wise, January 31st, which right around the corner, right? I mean, there's no doubt about that, man. Yeah, with the, with the 24th, 7, yeah, it's a week from today. You know, so, and what the market's going to be looking for then is this. The, the market certainly is not looking for a rate cut. Uh, the market's going to be looking for guidance, though. The market's going to be looking for guidance. And that miles will be the same as a rate cut, because like, so how do you say that? How do you say that? Okay, yeah, we're thinking of of cutting rates when the market itself already got ahead of the Fed, you know. So, bottom line is that the Home Depots of the world, the builders of the world, know that it's going in the direction that is going to make it easier and less expensive to buy the exact same house or the exact same product a year from now compared to what it is right now. That's how this is set up. Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 74, you get the NASDAQ uh, down 74. You get the NASDAQ up 57, S&P's uh, up four and a half. Stay right there, folks, come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv welcome back folks uh, let's go take a look at the small caps out here take a look at the iwm so you have the iwm right now trading down a buck 80 you had come back to its strength last week, had lighter volume, and the last day we had any volume, though, um, going up was last Friday. So, you know, this is coming back in for another test. That's how this looks to me. Because we don't have volume at the highs up here. You have the strength. So there's more, there's more testing to be done. You know, so right now you're at the 179, the one, oh, you know, you're 194, rather. And the 189 is game to be tested. Uh, back over to the S&Ps for a second. They're still up five. They snuck back underneath that uh, swing point. And they're trying to get above it once again. We, we went down to that 48.95. What you want to remember in the S&Ps now, okay, is that you do have an intraday ABC structure on the way down. You know, so what did I say it was? It was, I think it was 48.85, right? Yeah, it was 48.85. And right now, it is 48.95. So after the close out here, uh, inside of the S&P, of course, uh, well, you're going to have IBM. IBM's going to move the S&P. Uh, and Tesla is. You know, right now, IBM's flat. IBM is going to be looking to bring in 17.3 billion 
and make $3.76. So this would be, just so you can, I don't know, it's the second year that they actually went up on gross dollars. They don't have any growth going on, that's for sure, but hey, we'll see where it shakes out. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health happens and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m., and uh, uh, I'll be watching uh, when we do this update, Tesla as well as IBM. IBM normally comes out a little bit low, uh, later, but we may catch Tesla on the update. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.